Hello and welcome to the new episode of the Network and Cisco Packet Tracer Tutorials for Beginner. Siawash is here and in today's tutorial I want to talk about the routing in a multi-layer switch environment. Actually when I recorded a previous tutorial about the multi-layer switching and routing, I realized the tutorial is a bit basic for you if you're really following the tutorials in this channel. So in today's tutorial we will discuss more and expand our works and scenario here. In the left side we got the network A with the IP address of 192.168.1.0/24 and on the right side we got the network B with the 192.168.2.0/24 subnet. We got two multi-layer switches here. They are connected via the 10.0.0.0/13 network and we want to implement the, one of the routing protocol I think is ERGIP is suitable for this scenario and we have a communication for this PC on the left network A to the this PC on the right on the network B so let's begin I start with the switch 0 go to privilege mode then global configuration mode and start to sign the IP address before that let's check the which interface we connected FA0 slash 2 is connected to this segment and FA0 slash 1 is connected to the multi-layer switch and yeah we're following the same so interface FA0 slash 2 let's start with the network side first no switch port never forget in an interface in a switch when you want to assign the IP address then IP address.192.168.1.1 slash 24 or 255.255.255.0 no shot as usual interface FA slash 0 slash 1 and the IP address is okay no switch port IP address is 10.0.0.1 and 255.255.255.252 for a slash 30 and no shot and let's check our configuration but show IPN interface brief okay let's zoom it for you you see the command sequence first interface FA slash 0 slash 1 IP address is assigned that this IP address is assigned to the FA 0 slash 2 and by pressing the show IP interface brief we can see exactly the pass Ethernet 0 slash 1 is assigned dot 1 and 192.168.1.1 is assigned to FA 0 slash 2 so let's do the configuration on the other switch go to the CLI again and enable Configuration mode, interface FA slash 0 slash 1. This time I start with the point to point link and no switch port. IP address will be 10.0.0.2 and with the subnet mask of 255.255.255.252. No shot. Interface FA slash 0 2, which is connected to the network. No switch port. IP address 192.168.2.1 slash 24 so show IP interface brief and now we got our interfaces with the sign IP address and the status and the protocol is up and up let's see can we ping the other side 10.0.0 slash 1 Okay, successfully we can ping it. Let's do it again. We got a ping successful to point to point link. And let's check the IP routing table. So currently we don't have any entry in our routing table of our switch because we're not enabling the IP routing. To enable the IP routing on the multi layer switch, the command is IP routing. So go to the configuration mode, global configuration mode and use the IP routing command press enter and enabling the switch for the routing operation and this time if I go to show IP route I expected to see some entries like this in my routing table of multi-layer switch as you can see 
we have the connected network two connected network one of them is a 10.0.000 is a directly connected and the other one is a 192.168.2 and here we go for the first switch enabling the IP routing show IP route we are have no entry in our routing table go to global configuration mode and using the IP routing command to enable the routing on the switch and this time we have two other entries which shows that the 10.000 and 192.168.1.0 networks are directly connected to our device after this we are going to enable the ERGRP for our network let's start with this switch go to global configuration mode and start the configuration so the command for configuration the EIGRP router EIGRP okay I'll assign for example 10 and don't forget to use the auto summary to prevent the auto summarization on the EIGRP and we start to advertising the network 192.6.1.0 and the network of 10.000 okay we do the same thing on the other side of the link and we go to global configuration mode router EIGRP 10 and no auto summary and the network are 192.168.2.0 and the network is 10.000 and immediately when I issue the new adjacency table is connection is established between these two routers. The neighbor is discovered and adjacency is created. So now I expected to see some learned IP address from the EIGRP. Show use the show IP route. And now clearly we can see we have a new routing in our router routing table, which is learned by D is equivalent to EIGRP and the IP address is 192.168.1.0 slash 24 beside the two previous routing we have which are the directly connected let's go to the switch 0 and check the routing table on that switch also as you can see here we have a new adjacency based on the EIGRP configuration okay and using the show IP route here and voila we got a routing in a multi-layer switch environment and we land the 192.168.2.0 which is a network B via the EIGRP routing protocol automatically uh, there is no restriction you can use any routing include the statics EIGRP OSPF and etc in your multi-layer switch environment and the switch is really act like a real router here for you and is not specific to any VLAN. So let's do our testing for the ping. And here we go. We go to the PC0 and ping 192.168.1.1. First of all, we make sure that we can ping the gateway. Then go to ping the 2.10, which is the PC1 in the other side. And waiting to see is there any reply from the other side or not. So yes we have a reply from the other side and for demonstrating how this route is works we can use the trace route command here in the command 192.168.2.10 trace route and press enter and as you can see here we have a different hopes to reach to our destination first of all we go to our gateway here then after that we connect to the 10.002 which is the router on the right side in network P and finally we reach to the PC on the other side in the other word the packet it goes from here go to our multi-layer switch and based on the land ERGRP routing the packet will guide to the switch one and finally goes back to the destination so here you can see how the dynamic routing protocol can easy your works in a networking and I hope this video is informative for you. If you find this video good, please subscribe on our channel and share it with your friends and your colleagues. 
Thank you very much and I hope I can finally start the ACL on our next video. So bye for now.